Hey, this is Ryan and welcome back to You Can Draft. So today I want to talk about templates. Um, templates are super helpful for creating new drawings with styles and variables and settings that you have set the way that you want to. Um, you'll notice um, when you're working in default AutoCAD, base AutoCAD, that whenever you go file new, it asks you for a um, template, choose a template. And you know, usually the one of the default templates you're gonna choose is ACAD.DWT. And then when you hit open, uh, it makes a new drawing using that base template. Um, also, whenever you hit new up here, like with this, this is Q new, basically like quick new, when you hit one of these, it's pulling um, most of the time from this AutoCAD uh, template. I think I don't think I have my Q new set. I'll, I'm gonna get to that in, later in the video. We're gonna set these, uh, where to look for templates and where to look for Q new templates. But for now, let's create a template. Let's see how they can be useful to us. So all a template is, is again, just a, a drawing with preset layers and styles and other settings uh, that you can use to make new drawings over and over again. And I'm not gonna go deep into the creating custom styles. The easiest way to show this is um, with layers, like a couple layers in here. So I'm gonna make just like a layer one, two, and three. And we'll just put color one, color two, and color three. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna save as a DWT. DWT is the file extension for templates. So I'm gonna call this just test and we'll put, put it in here with the other uh, templates. Save. And usually here, I just, this is uh, almost inconsequential. Usually just save your layers as reconciled. Um, it just means that these are the layers I want them, how I want them to be when the drawing loads. I want these exact layers loaded in each time. Okay, so, and then this, this the description doesn't really matter. You can leave it blank if you want, or if you really want to give it a description, but usually just leave it blank. Okay, so we hit okay. It is now saved as this test.dwt with our layers in it. We can close this out. <clears throat> now when we go to file new, we have test.dwt as an option. The difference between these two is my test.dwt will now have my layers in it. See, it's uh, when I open that template, or actually when I create a drawing based off that template, I'm not opening the template file. It's making a new drawing that is a copy of that template file. And because it's a copy, I have those layers that I created. So it's just a preset. I mean, I mean, if you're familiar with computers and other software at all, you know what, pretty much what a template is. I'm just reiterating for anybody who's not too familiar with what a template might be or how it's helpful in AutoCAD. We compare this with uh, our regular ACAD.DWT, and you can see I don't have the layer list because the regular AutoCAD template doesn't have those layers. I made those custom. Um, what other kind of things can you put into a template file? Well, you can put things like uh, custom textiles that will be saved, custom dimension styles. These will also be saved into your template rather than just having the basic standard and annotative you get with AutoCAD. Um, things like the multi-layer styles and then variables that are saved to the drawing. Uh, there's, there's two ways that variables are typically saved. They're either saved to the drawing or to the registry. And the way you can find this out is by typing in um, a, a variable or setting that you know that you are constantly having to um, adjust. Something like, for me, I'll give a quick example like ISO lines. <clears throat> uh, my ISO lines right now is set to zero, but I'm gonna set this to four. And I have some custom, um, what do you call them? Yeah, see, I knew I was going to have this running in the background, and I was kind of worried about that. Um, so let's do this. Let's close these out. Let's open up my AutoCAD again. File new. Go to my, uh, the test is fine. All right. ISO lines is set to zero. Let's set it to four. Um, actually, let's make sure we open up the, temp the, the template because I want to modify the template itself, okay? I'll set my ISO lines to four or eight. We'll do eight. I'm going to save the template, right? This is the template file, okay? Close the template file. 
because I want to I want to save the core template file so that when I create a new template file, it's saved that way. Now let's go to ISO lines again, and there's the setting. It's saved to eight. Now if I go do new and I go to acad.dwt and I type in ISO lines, you can see it's set to four because that's the setting in the AutoCAD DWT. Now, how do I know that this is a drawing specific? Well, what you do is you type in ISO lines and you hit F1. The help file for that will show you uh, where it's saved. And the, this ISO lines variable is saved in drawing. Now to check if, it's, if a variable saved in the registry, we'll use something like um, uh, OS mode. And when I hit F1, you can see that it's saved to the registry. And what that means is that this setting will be saved from drawing to drawing. Here I am in, uh, this one here is based off of the ACAD.DWT. And you can see my setting says OS mode 247. If I go over here to drawing two, which was based off my test.DWT and type in OS mode, it's the same setting. This setting will persist through the, uh, drawings, different drawings. But a, a, a drawing specific setting like ISO lines or, or other similar settings like P line gen or, uh, you know, PSLT type, um, those will change from drawing to drawing. And so your template can pre save those settings for you. Um, just to give you a, a quick example, I have something like this. Um, this is a, a small Lisper team that just sets all of these variables for me ahead of time. I'm not uh, Lisp savvy at all. Um, I just know enough to get me in trouble, really. Um, but I'll, I'll, I think most of these, if not all of these, are drawing specific variables. And I have this loaded into my startup suite so that way every time I open up a drawing, they're they, these load up. Now, why wouldn't I just put that into a template? Well, that's because at, when I work with, uh, at work, I work with other people's drawings and I have to change their settings. So, but these are the kind of settings you could put into your template and it would save those into the template so that you have those settings every time. Um, to show you another example, um, you can use uh, templates with uh, sheet sets. So let's say, uh, or title blocks, let's say title blocks. Um, so I'm going to file new and I'll do this, uh, tutorial architectural. And here's one that's got a preset, uh, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting lost here. It's got a preset title block in it. And the reason this is important is because templates will save anything you put into them. So if you put drawing objects, uh, if, if I, if I, let's go back to that test, right? That test.dwt. Oops. I need to go to test.dwt. And I'm in model space here, right? If I just put a couple of rectangles and I save this template like that, and I say file new and choose that test test again, those rectangles are gonna be there in that drawing. Again, it's literally like taking this drawing and doing a save as. Um, so things like title blocks can be saved to a template, which is exactly uh, how they work in sheet sets. And I'll do a whole tutorial on how to create sheet sets. But sheet sets pull from a template file, and that template file will largely, um, by most companies, will have a uh, title block in it. So you can see how templates are, are really, really helpful for uh, having a starting point every time where it's fresh and all your settings are how you want them to be. The last thing I want to talk about is setting your default AutoCAD templates uh, folder. I'm sorry, your folder. So when I go to File New, you'll see that it takes me here to this templates folder, which is in the AutoCAD you know, subdirectories and all that. What if I want to change that? What if I want to put that somewhere else? Well, what I can do is I can go to my options. Let me get in here. Type in OP for options. That's how I get to it. Um, I go to Files, and over here under Template Settings, you can go to Drawing Template File Location, and this is where you choose your directory. So if I go to Browse, and I say oh, I want this to be in my you can draft folder, and that's where I want to look for templates, I say Open. Now it's going to save that, and uh, I'm going to say OK. So when I go to File New, that's where it's going to look for it. Now I have no templates in there. But that's now my new location. If I don't want to use the default AutoCAD location, I can go to this custom folder with all my custom templates in it. You can choose that. Again, that's going to be under your Files tab of your Options and then under Template Settings. The other thing you can do is set a default template for QNew. 
Now, I don't have one set because I don't have one set. Whenever I hit the, the Q new button, I have to pick a template. But instead, if I go to my back to my options, oops, and I go to that file tab, which is where was it? Sorry, uh, template settings. And then I expand the default template for Q new. And I, I go to browse and I put it in the same, uh, I, I'm not going to put it in the same folder. Um, I'm going to actually, let me make this a little bit easier on myself. Let me open up that uh, DWT and I'm going to do a uh, save as, and I'm going to save it to this template folder, which it goes there automatically now because it's my default folder. I'm going to save it, hit OK. OK, now we go back to my options. And now I can set that Q new template. So template settings, default template file for Q new. Click this and go to browse. And then there's my test.dwt. So I hit OK. What this does, now that I have a Q new file set, uh, template set, when I hit new, instead of bringing up a dialog box, it's just going to bring up a new drawing. Let me close some of these out so they don't look all identical every time. OK. So I hit new again. If I, if I go to file new, it's still going to go to my templates folder. But if I hit new, the new, the Q new icon, it's going to take me right to this template every time. And you can change that yourself whenever you need to, if you have a new template or whatever. You also have a couple other settings like sheet template, sheet set template file location. But this one is not really useful because you're going to set the template location uh, for every sheet set that you do. Um, so, and then, uh, uh, default template for sheet creation and temp again for sheet creation and page setup overrides this is something that's defined in the sheet set itself so I wouldn't set that here um, and that's it so I hope that you've learned uh, something about templates I hope that you find ways to make them work for you and help you speed up drawing creation uh, by putting in your own uh, title blocks all your settings and that way when you hit new um, you're ready to go. You're ready to get started. You can make multiple templates if you if you if you uh, run your own business or you work for a company and you've got different clients who have different title blocks or settings or or um, different layers they use. Um, you can create different templates for those clients so that their project loads up with the correct settings and the correct title blocks and textiles and all that stuff. Um, you can save you know one one uh, template for every client or something like that. There's different ways you can use templates. So uh, hopefully this helps.